uh, 550 in. Got some random cylinder misfires. Gonna see what we can do for it. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. Hopefully some simple fix. Um, go. I figured out why the 08 550 has a rough idle and it's smoking. So for one, the somebody removed his breather and when they put it back on, they forgot to put the spring. So it was not able to actuate correctly and release blow by gases and stuff like that and back into the intake manifold. So this was giving us some, causing us some issues with smoking and stuff like that. And then they have the breather uh, breather hose that goes to the intake manifold from both valve cover gaskets. I mean, well, just valve covers. And uh, they just put electrical tape to make it uh, airtight, I guess, but that's not working at all. And then the Valvetronic motors, when they removed them, they didn't do the proper learn procedure after, so they were not working correctly. Uh, we were able to cure most of the misfire diagnosis. Well, the, the misfiring, it still has a slight rough idle once it warms up. Um, so, and it has a really bad oil leak. So, since we have all those issues, we're going to have, uh, we found that the valve cover gasket is leaking in this area. As you can kind of see, it's pretty damn wet. So it's leaking out the valve cover gasket. Um, they have previously repaired it, as you can see. They put some silicone. They did it recently. I'm pretty sure. It's not too long ago. And they just did a crazy, I mean, they were putting silicone on O-rings and stuff. Like, what is that about? And this seal was already ripped and reused. And uh, These guys did a pretty good hack job on this thing. So uh, it's my job to fix it. And we'll get this thing running A1 again. I'll keep you guys updated. How I started to remove this is I removed the, the breather, then I removed the coil packs and the uh, ground strap, took the DME cover off, removed that stuff too, uh, removed the coolant reservoir, removed the power steering reservoir, and then I was able to remove the Valtronic motor, you have to take off, there's four bolts that hold around it, and then there's another one that holds a mount, the metal mounting plate that slides in with the gasket. Took all that out, I took out the covers for, the cover and seals for these sensors, and I took out, I'm gonna take out these two sensors. I got this one out already, and I just have that one down there left to do. Um, other than that, and I just connected from both sides, I loosened the tension up from the wiring harnesses so I can move it up and out of the way as much as possible. All right, got the valve cover ready to come out. Got all the bolts all taken out. Uh, now I'm just gonna try to just pry it out by hand. If not, grab a little rubber mallet and just gently tap it around it to break the seal. So we took the valve cover off, got a new gasket. We let it dry right now. I just cleaned it up pretty good. Got everything taken off. some issues with the first gasket that they got they got an aftermarket gasket I recommended only to get OEM didn't listen to me we had some issues with it uh, I just didn't like how it was fitting so I told them to go get their OEM one we got OEM valve cover gasket and uh, we have no leaks nothing everything's running beautifully all the plastic panels on um, things running perfect gonna go do a test drive make sure and then they're going to let it sit for a while, make sure we don't got any seats or anything like that. But so far, so good. Um, I don't think we're going to have to do anything else. It's pretty good for a 10-year-old car. Good. Not having any issues. Idle's nice and smooth now. See once we put it to a complete stop. Yep, nice smooth idle. Oh, yep, brakes work good. Like half throttle. Not too bad. Sorry about the glare. Oh, 
think our fix is good.